not my dog Blueface, bro. This can't be real, bro. I don't know about this one, bro. Cause they known for doing this to rappers once they get popular. Now, before we get into this video, first thing I'm gonna automatically say, I ain't got nothing against the LMNOP community. I'm just going off what I see, man. Please do not fire me up in the comment section. Man, what is YouTube? Y'all already know what it is, man. It's your boy Jay here, man. I'm back on another video. Today we got a crazy video to talk about. Now, before we get into this crazy video, first thing I'm gonna ask y'all to do, hit the notification bell, smash that like button, and show out all my other videos. And also, man, follow me on the ground. Y'all got me? All right, bet. Basically, what we got going on, man. Up and coming rapper Blueface was recently exposed by a trans woman, and he allegedly was hooking up with a transgender. And basically, he slash she just uh, accused him of trying to link up and basically she wanted to suck him up for the show now there's dms on this situation in the first dm blueface put on his story and basically it shows what attorney was trying to get with him and basically that dm said the dm said it said where you at daddy yes daddy let me suck on you after and before your show he said k got you there sounds good come to my room come they said blueface post if you think i linked up with this training you're smoking d and the blueface responded and said it tried to get me with all these d sucking videos not happening that's out i'm a boy damon if y'all don't know that's for friday after this now i ain't gonna hold you blueface I gotta give you the benefit of the doubt, man. You my boy and all, but come on, bro. It do look like you deleted a lot of messages. Now, I'm not saying you did it. Now, I ain't gonna say you did it, bro, because, like, you got people like Sydney Star and all the other transgenders, bro. They known for trying to get rappers, and, you know what I mean, make their career fall off. Like, look at Chingy, bro. So after, after Sydney Star, a lot of said she dated him or they did it or whatever, his whole career fell off. Now, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. It literally looks like he deleted the messages, bro. I don't know if that's just a part of the plan to make it look crazy, because, I mean, hey, the dude or the female end up getting on the shade room. I mean, end up getting on the Jack Demons because that could have been all part of their plan, bro. But come on, bro. If it's been real, man, you got to be more smarter than that, man. And that's that's tough, bro. That's very tough, bro. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. It's way more screenshots, man, that make this situation look way more legit. I'll put it at the end of this video, man. Blueface, if you got caught up, man, maybe you just didn't know that was a dude, bro. Because I ain't gonna lie to you. I didn't know it was a dude, so I seen like a couple pictures. I was like, whoa, bro, I ain't seen no breasts. I'm like, wait a minute, bro. That joint way too flat in the front, bro. I don't know what's going on, man. But this is a crazy situation, man. Good thing is that Blueface didn't really get bashed for it because it didn't really like go viral. He just simply just got it out the way, man. He he handled it like a grown man. Because if he gave it more attention, then people would have started thinking, oh yeah, he really, he really been talking to this trans dude, man, or trans woman. I'm sorry. So Good thing is he didn't give it too much spark. And, hey, man, this is crazy, bro. Y'all living in the comment section from Shot Thing. Y'all feel like Blueface got exposed? Y'all feel like he deleted the message? Or do y'all feel like that, that's just another way of them trying to get, bring themselves down and trying to get fame off situation, man? I don't know. Y'all let me know. Y'all already know who it is, man. It's your boy, Lucky J. When I wrote the 50K, follow me on the gram. And, yeah, bro, I'm out, man.